with my boredom of my life after finishing House of Cards and really pointlessly binge-watching Friends on Netflix, I try and get in some time to, well, do baseball because that's what I enjoy. But without being able to watch spring training games, it's become a bit of a pain. But so far, it looks like that's not been that bad of a thing, considering the Cubs are still winless in spring training. They fall to the Rockies 7-5 to today. This loss is a bit more discouraging than yesterday's because there were people that will be playing this season that were in this game. Dexter Fowler picks up a hit. Albert Almora comes in later, gets a hit. Rizzo, 0 for 3. He's yet to get a hit in spring training, so hopefully that ends up working out. Mike Baxter with a hit and run. Starlin Castro picks up a double. Uh, Tommy Lestello with a walk. Miguel Montero, um, 0 for 3 today. Uh, Jorge Soler was 1 for 3 with a run, so that's encouraging. Chris Bryant hit a two-run homer, very encouraging in his first uh, at-bat of this game, so that's always really nice. Chris Coghlan with a hit. Matt Caesar, 2 for 2 with a homer. Uh, David Ross was 0 for 3. Kyle Schwarber, 0 for 1. Um, so just, you know, it's all over the place as far as where your positives are coming from. Uh, but Bryant and Caesar with homers, that was really good. The Cubs were, uh, you know, they... Gave up three runs in the bottom of the first. Stormed back with two in the top of the second. They were down 7-2. to two, Then fought back. They scored one in the eighth, two in the ninth. Were a base hit away from tying it or taking the lead. Just weren't able to do it. That's just the way life is. It's spring training. You still can't take this stuff that seriously. Um, the discouraging part of this game was Jason Hamill. It's the fact that, you know, he started the game, goes two innings, and allows three runs. You know, Jason Hamill struggled a lot when he went to Oakland last year. Now, he's transitioning back to the National League. Now, granted, Colorado always been a good hitting team. They still got guys like Nolan Arenado that are playing in this game. But still, the Rockies did not feel that impressive of a lineup tonight. So, when you're really thinking about it, Jason Hamill should have been able to manage this lineup, and unfortunately he wasn't able to. So this brings in a bit of a problem to where maybe you have to discuss, is he cemented a spot in the rotation? I understand that you gave him a contract, but sometimes in order to compete, you have to stretch things around. And, you know, I feel like you may be a bit unsure. Give Jason Hamill a few more opportunities. Remember last year, we all thought Chris Russin was going to get a spot in the rotation, and that obviously didn't work out because of his lackluster spring training performance. So we have to see who's going to get that initial spot in the rotation. We still haven't seen Jake Arrieta work. We still haven't seen Kyle Hendricks work. Still some things that need to be worked out. But as of right now, we just need to evaluate a bit more. Felix Dubrant got in a bit of work. He fared a bit better, allowed four hits and a run in two innings with a strikeout. Blake Parker allowed a run. Um, and then, you know, errors in this game, which have always been a problem for the Cubs. You get Joe Ortiz, the guy that's, you know, not really, probably, probably not going to get a spot in the big league team. He allows two unearned runs. And then, you know, after that, guys that, you know, really unfamiliar, Drake Britton, the lefty, comes in, pitches a perfect inning. Then, then you let in uh, Anthony Carter, a guy that's almost 30 years old, comes in, third of an inning, allows a hit and a strikeout. And then um, Francis Lee Bueno, who's well into his 30s, was muy bueno today, um, Two-thirds of an inning, nothing allowed. But overall, I mean, we really have to look at this game and realize that there are some things that need to be fixed. It's good to see Starlin Castro coming in. Chris Bryant, that's encouraging. But, you know, there are a few guys that didn't play. We didn't see Junior Lake today. We didn't see Michael. We didn't see Javier Baez. We didn't see Arizmendi Alcantara. But we have to take what we saw today. It's one game, and then just keep on going and see, uh, see what the Cubs are going to do in the immediate future. Because, you know, we just started spring training. I get it, they're winless right now, but we've played four games, so I'm not going to freak out that much really about anything. It's just, you know, it can be discouraging, especially when you lose to a team like the Rockies. Tomorrow they're going to be playing the Rangers at Sloan Park in Mesa. That's a 3.05 p.m. Central start. Make sure to uh, spring your clocks forward. It's not good for me being a college student to, uh, you know, lose out on more sleep, but it's just the way it is. Uh, so, yeah, the, they'll play the Rangers Sunday, you got the Padres Monday, Indians Tuesday, Dodgers Wednesday, Angels Thursday, and then your next split squad would be next Friday where they play the Indians and the A's. So, of course, a lot of baseball action. It's good for me. It's good for Cubs fans just to be able to see everybody getting their feet wet in this situation. Other than that, though, there really isn't that much to take from today's game other than the fact that it's really nice to see Chris Bryant hit a home run that drives in Jorge Soler. I could definitely get used to that. 
But pitching wise, you know, we just got to see how things work out. It's just a bit discouraging to see that type of performance from Jason Hamill uh, falling apart in the first inning. That's a very Edwin Jackson esque thing to do. Uh, but it's the first game, he's going to get some more work in. And then once we start getting into the first round of cuts, then we're going to be able to see and have a better idea of who's going to be making this team. Um, it's really exciting, it's encouraging, but we just got to keep on going through until we get a better idea of what the 25-man roster is going to look like come April 5th, which is obviously the important day where uh, the regular season is going to start and where games start to matter. Other than that, that is all I have for today. There is hope from Clark and Addison, just spring training, you can't get that discouraged, but have a good night, Cubs fans, and I'll see you again tomorrow afternoon when they take on the Rangers at Sloan Park.